Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the NASCAR Winston Cup Series Season 1994 here from Richmond Raceway in Richmond, Virginia the 24th race of the season and quite an interesting field we have here today as after this race we only have 7 races left in the championship after last week's race at the Southern 500 that Davey Allison won getting his 30th career victory and beating Dale Earnhardt and expanding his points lead coming into this race to 308 over Terry Labonte. And everyone else even trailing further behind him. It's going to be interesting to see how today will play out as we come to the unpredictable Richmond Raceway. Before we can find out what happens at this unpredictable Richmond Raceway, we have to take you through your starting lineup presented by something. Wait, hold on. I thought I saw a Red Bull trailer in the field there. No, I just see a, uh, oh, well, okay, hold on. All right, there we go. So on the pole today is Davey Allison. Starting alongside him is sophomore driver Jeff Gordon in his second season here. Dale Earnhardt starts third, also third place in points. and fourth place is Ted Musgrave. Fifth, Ken Schrader. Outside of, outside of him is his old teammate, Ricky Rudd. Derek Cope and Bobby Hamilton starting to row together. Mark Martin, Terry Labonte, Morgan Shepard, Rick Wilson. Bill Elliott, Dale Jarrett, Todd Bodine, Sterling Marlin, Kyle Petty, Lake Speed, Rusty Wallace, Joe Nemechek, Jeffrey Bodine, Jimmy Spencer, Ernie Irvin, Michael Waltrip, Hutch Strickland, Greg Sachs, John Andretti, Harry Gant, Darrell Waltrip, Rick Mast, Mike Wallace, Dick Trickle, Steve Grissom, Dave Marcus, Kenny Wallace, Loy Allen Jr., Jimmy Hensley, and Wally Dahlenbach Jr. Round out, rounds out your field for today. I feel like Wally Dahl Mac Jr. seems to almost always round out the field. I feel really bad for him. He's had a really bad season. And besides Rob Wally Dahl Mac Jr. having a really bad season, we're getting ready to go green flag racing here at Richmond Raceway. This three-quarter mile racetrack. A very different short track compared to a lot of the tracks on the schedule. Let's see how the drivers take to it today. It's a green flag is waving. Davey Allison leads into the down. Davey Allison starts pulling away already as Jeff Gordon can find a slot in line in second place there. God, why? Um, oh, man, they already go three wide almost off of turn number two down the back stretch. Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt st slot single file. Ted Musgrave trying to find a way in line there. He started third, or actually fourth. Oh, man, we got a car really high, it looks like. Derek Cope all the way up in the third lane there. That place hasn't even been rubbered in yet. So he comes single file the top four now here. Complete lap number one. Oh, I hear a wreck. I hear a wreck. Oh, going back, going back. I'm still going back. We're trying to find it. Um, oh, Rusty Wallace was involved. As a caution comes out, Davey Ellison leads him back around. Davey, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt was side-by-side -side with Ken Trader for a second there. Mark Martin rounds out your top five. Now let's take a look what happened to Mr. Rusty Wallace here as he races back to the green flag. Um, let's see here. Ooh. So he tries to go three wide. Oh, he does. He didn't know he was going to be taking three wide. And the 43 turns him to the outside wall. That's a hard. That's a hard hit. Look at, look at that. He gets, he gets in the air. See it right here. Just, wow. Look at that. Wow. Almost all. He almost flipped over. Either way, Mercy Wallace gets it going back straight. He will probably be able to make race the rest of the race here see anyone pit possibly oh that's not what I wanted I am a mess today um I don't think anyone pit then I skipped ahead to a couple laps well let us go back oh I think what the hell happened to Bill Elliott I saw I got I, I why can't I click the right direction or anything today Bill Elliott's slow on the infield on the inside here I wonder if he's pitting well I mean hmm so yeah, Bill Elliott will pit. These guys will have to pit at least once in this race, I assume. Davey Allison comes around here, waiting to go back green flag racing. Pace car pulls off, get ready to go back green flag, here we go. Davey Allison leads him back down. Shout out to Tabo Dime, by the way, all the way in 10th place. Head back down to turn number one once again. 
Ken Schrader trying to get under Dale Earnhardt here. He will clear Dale. He saw him almost make the pass coming back to the caution. But now he makes it as we go back green here. And now Ken's going to try and chase down Dale Earnhardt here possibly. Or Jeff Gordon, geez. As Dale Earnhardt falls back to fifth and possibly sixth place as the two Roush cars now try to pass him here. Kyle Petty, by the way, seventh place. He has had a terrible season. This is a great run for Kyle. As Davey Allison continues to lead and dominate this race so far. Kyle Petty trying to get under Dale Earnhardt for the sixth place position. Now can he do it? He will complete the pass. Dale Earnhardt falls back to seventh now as Kyle Petty makes a pass for sixth place. This is the home of Kyle Petty's first career victory, by the way, a very long time ago. Back, in, I believe it was 1987 when Daryl Waltrip and... It was this 87? It was in the 80s. Or Daryl Waltrip and Dale, Dale Earnhardt wrecked each other. That's what I was trying to say. Now we have a, now we have a new second-place driver. Ken Schrader moves to second place, and third place is going to be contested here between Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon. Side by side here down the back stretch once more. Jeff Gordon racing door to door with Mark Martin for this third place position at the moment. Gordon, who's your outside pole sitter, lost the second place position to his teammate, who's now trying to chase down Davey Allison, who Davey is now beating to pull away. Davey Allison, he has been incredible recently. I, we, we, we cannot praise Davey Allison enough here. He took what was a possible championship run in the first half of the season and absolutely blew the door off the hinges on this on his season here. He has come into the second half of the season after Daytona wanting everything, winning everything, basically. The Brickyard 400, the, the Southern 500. He won the Daytona 500 this year. He, he's won, um, he, don't, he almost won the 600. He almost won all four Crown Jewel events this year. He finished second in that. This has been near, this has been the perfect season for Davey Allison. The only way he needs, the only way he can cap off this perfect season is with the championship. Something that eluded him two years ago, and also last year as well, although last year wasn't nearly as close as what it was two years ago where Alan Kowicki surprised everyone, the late great Alan Kowicki, and claimed victory. At Atlanta. Oh, claimed second place. Bill Elliott won the race, but he won the championship. Anyway, that's not what that's not relevant right now. What's relevant right now is the um, field here. As Kyle Petty still doing a good job here, and Terry Labonte's moved all the way up to eighth place here. He's trying to chase down seventh place Dale Earnhardt. There, he's pretty much there. He just has to find a way around him. As they continue racing on there. It's been a pretty nice green flag run here. We had that little wreck on lap number two there, and now we've been running green for about I don't know, about ten laps now. Ken Shrey, uh, not Ken Shrey, Terry Labonte trying to pass Dale Earnhardt here. Let's go back up here. Still nothing changing in the front there. This is your best battle in the top ten here. We'll just look through the field here. See Rick Wilson. We go through more here. We're just going to go through everything. Man, Terry Gant just got shoved high by the number 12 of uh, Jimmy Spencer. Darrell Waltrip trying to race him there. We go through the field some more here. Looks like um, Rusty Wallace, or no, uh, uh, Bill Elliott actually dnf the race. Rusty, after being involved in that early wreck, he's 31st. Let's go back up here. Terry Labonte is trying to get around the day, number three of Dale Earnhardt. The top four of the top five, second through fourth in points, are all battling right here for uh, seventh through ninth. And um, Ken Schrader, who's fifth in points, is actually trying to finish pretty good here to try and cut into that point lead, you know, try and move himself up in points. He may not, he may be out of the championship run, Ken Schrader is, but there's a big difference in and prize money between um, fifth place and second place in points. So it's still on for him to try and win that prize money at the end of the season. Ooh. Dale Earnhardt trying everything he can to hold off that five of Terry Labonte, but Terry just seems a little bit faster. Every lap just nibbles a little bit closer, inches ever so closer to that number three's back bumper there. Can Terry Labonte get around him here? Ooh, since we're halfway through the race. 
back down the back stretch once more. Oh, right on the back bumper. Trying to find a gap there. He's going to look right here. Can he get to the inside of him here? Let's take a look here. Oh, he's just right there, barely. Darrell Waltrip coming back on the racetrack. I don't know why he pitted. Maybe some sort of off strategy or some sort. He's coming back on the racetrack. Here he comes. He's going to blend back in here with some of the lead pack lead lap drivers and Terry Labonte is on the back bumper he's gonna have to he's gonna try to make a move here in one I would assume no he's just gonna put the heat on the number three there try and maybe scare him a little bit though it's the intimidator he usually he's usually the one doing that oh here he comes here he comes here comes Terry, Terry Labonte under the three can he complete the pass yes he will Terry Labonte moves up to seventh place position passing Dale Warner for eight Dale Earnhardt's going to slot back in line behind him there. Jeff Gordon slid, slid back to fourth, near fifth place now, as here comes the 16 to try and pass him. Gordon sliding back more and more. As last lap by, all most of the drivers behind him turned a faster lap than Gordon did. 2 4 1, a 1 5 5. Oh, whoops, yeah, 0 9 8. 1 5 5, 1 5 1, 0 9 8. It's Gordon is slow at the moment. Probably the rookie racing off his tires here, although we're getting near into the final 15 laps of this race, and Davey Allison has just dominated and has absolutely... This race has flown by for a very long time. Actually, Davey's starting to come in some lap traffic here. Wally Dahlenbach, 37th place, trying to hold, hold on to his lead laps. They're side by side right in front of the leader here, Davey Allison. 14 laps to go. We're going to see how he navigates through this and how much it's going to slow him down here. As he's still, he's over the three second lead on second place, Ken Schrader. But again, these guys racing side by side. That could be just obliterated in a, in a short amount of time there. Ken Schrader is probably much faster than what Davey Elson's trying to pass right here. As they're still side by side, Davey Elson tries to go up on the top three wide around him. Davey Allison, look at him, sailed around the outside trying to get around these guys. Oh, he's going to get around one of them, maybe. That's the number 55 of, I believe, Robert Presley. Jimmy Hensley. Not Robert Presley. And just, yeah, if you already see there, even though Davey Allison did make that pass, he lost a second of his lead that time by trying to trying to get around these guys. Take a look how much he loses this time. He loses another about two tenths. So not as much, but still. And he did clear him now. But now Ken Schrader has to get through him here. But now Davey Allison's going to be in way thicker lap traffic as we come to 11 laps to go. Ken Schrader coming off the corner here. 11 laps left. He loses a little bit of that lead again because Davey isn't a little bit of clean racetrack at the moment. But now he's right on the tail of these three cars all racing each other here. Davey's now going to try and work his way around him here. He is going to get blocked by the 41. And he just can't roll the center there get around him there. Ten laps to go. We're expecting probably in the next five to ten laps. Actually, it's, it might, this might turn into a few mileage race because these guys could go about uh, 34 to 38 laps on gas. And remember this last year we had the same exact thing with fuel mileage. And we had that one caution. So that might have just saved him just enough gas to make it to the finish though. If Davey Allison cannot get around the 41. He's blocking him. Joe Nemechek refuses to give Davey Allison the position as Ken Schrader begins to just cut in even more into the lead here and Davey Allison with nine laps to go he needs to get around this 41 or else Ken Schrader will get there and it will be on from there Jay still cannot get under that 41 Ken Schrader how much will he cut into the lead this time by only one lap car between Davey and, and Ken he's finally getting under the 41 that time by Davey Allison lost another four tenths and now they come up on even more lap traffic Davey can't get around the 51, the 71 now. He's going to look here. He's going to get to the inside of him here into this corner. Try and put three lap cars in between him and Ken Schrader as Ken just inches closer more and more. Coming to seven laps to go here. Davey just trying to hold on for dear life. Ken that time by cut another two tenths into the lead there, but he's got three lap cars to worry about, and they're side by side in front of him. 
Can can get through him faster than what Davy could have. Oh man, this guy, Mike Wallace, almost come came right down on Davy, and ended the day of Davy Allison's great run as we come to six laps to go, and now Schrader just trying to slice through him as quickly as possible here. He did lose four tenths. Now he's having to work these guys through here. See, now Davey, though, has more lap cars to worry about. It depends on who gets through him faster. Mark Martin, see, coming into the picture just a little bit now. Davey, five laps to go. He's stuck behind another driver. He win will with Davey Allison pit, or if he has to pit. Fuel mileage is going to become an issue, I believe, here. As Davey continues the run. Ken Schrader behind him here. Schrader. He goes high here. Oh, it looks like we got some cars pitting here. Davey Allison's going to pit. Davey Allison pits. And that's going to mean that Ken Schrader will be the leader here with four laps to go. And there's a caution. Ken Schrader. There's a. Oh, my goodness. Ken Schrader may have just got this race handed to him on a silver platter. Schrader. This race will end under caution as Ken Schrader makes it, stays out. But now, here's the question. Can they make it around, around the rest of the race on, on gas under caution? We saw last year Jimmy Spencer run out of gas pacing. It's fine. we got to find out what brought out the caution here. I have a feeling I know what it could possibly be because I just remembered that there is a glitch at this racetrack where we will see it probably here right now. Um, where is it? Where's their caution? Where's the... Where's the... There's no... There's no caution. Well, there's. it was a debris caution. Good job, NASCAR. They threw a debris caution. That, th I don't know what to say about that one. I guess they want to make the championship interesting. That's going to screw Davey Allison over. And Ken Schrader is going to go to victory lane as long as he can pace around this racetrack for four more laps. Because, again, depends on all, if these guys can make it on gas. We come to three to go. Fast forward a little bit more. Oh, yeah, you see cars are pitting. 2971 make it two laps to go for Schrader. Oh, my gosh, Kyle Petty is going to be second place. What a run for Kyle Petty. Man, if Ken Schrader runs out of gas, imagine Kyle Petty winning this race. White flag for Ken Schrader here. Yeah, doesn't, I think he's going to make it here on gas as long as nothing... Stu oh! Oh, he's, he's low on fuel. Kyle, oh, you see Kyle Petty's out of gas. Dale Earnhardt out of gas. The 43's out of gas. Oh, man, it's going to be a roll around to the finish here. Oh, Terry Labonte has not run out of gas. Just third place. Look at him. They're all running out of gas. Terry Labonte rolling. Oh, will he pass Ken Schrader? Schrader's going to pit. No. Schrader. Schrader's going to give up on the last. Oh, dude, Terry Labonte's out of gas. Terry Labonte's out of gas. Can he make it to the line? On a last corner pass under caution. Rolling slowly. And no one's going to beat him. Terry Labonte wins. On a... What? Sterling Marlin gets third. What is the... Davey Allison's confused. Oh, we got cars running out of gas here. Te oh. Mark Martin ran out of gas coming to the finish of the race. Oh, no, he's, he's getting it back fired up now. What a... Oh, there's cars sideways, people out of gas. Everything's going nuts. Haywire. I don't know what's happening. Let's fast forward it around here until everyone pits. Because, um... I have a feeling... I have no clue what's going on. So... Your final standings after this race. Derry Labonte wins in the last lap under caution... Fuel mileage pass. Schrader still gets second. Marlin gets third. Bobby, Bobby Hamilton fourth. 
Kyle Benito gets a top five. Dale Earnhardt gets sixth. Rick Wilson seventh. Michael Waltrip eighth. Ernie Irvin ninth. And Tom Bodine gets a top ten. Davey Allison finishes twelfth. And after this race, let's take a look at your points here. Terry Labonte cuts into the points lead down to 200 and five point, 255 points. Sorry. Dale Earnhardt gets second place. Uh, the Terry Labonte second place in points. Dale Earnhardt's third. Morgan Shepard's fourth. Ken Schrader fifth. Jimmy, Jimmy Spencer sixth. Um, Daryl Waltrip is seventh. I think on my notes here, I left a note here. I forgot to put Daryl Waltrip in my listing here, but you'll see it on the screen. It's not a big problem. Um, Rusty Walls, eighth. Ted Musgrave, ninth. Jeff Gordon rounds out your top ten of points. What a weird race. That is so strange. Never seen someone run on the... I've never seen that happen before. Anyway, without it, without without any other commotion, thanks for watching. Next week we will be at... We'll be at Dover. So, yeah, until next time, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.